number shall be written on every hand. No man shall trade without the sign, as in the book of Dan. The four creatures make their final alignment. Cobwebs in the sky, the last sign before the end. Isis betrayed, hidden but everywhere between the pillars of the temple. She records this truth. When every sign says six, when the book says six, 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 make it seven, seven, seven. This road leads to the gates of heaven. The sins of the world rest heavy on your shoulders, and you must choose. You must choose between the Iron Mask and the Immortal. They will both release their parts of the stone in return for your justice. You must choose between good and evil. Which betrayer? Which betrayed? Then unite the stone with me. wonderful Comte de Saint-Germain appeared in the courts of France around 1743, claiming to have arrived from the mountain monasteries of Tibet, where he declared that he had lived with immortals. A friend to humanity, he tried to prevent the French Revolution, prophesying that France would suffer a deluge of blood unless the monarchy changed its cruel policies and treatment of the poor. But his warnings were ignored by the French aristocracy. The court wrote, the time is fast approaching when imprudent France, surrounded by misfortune she might have spared herself, will call to mind such hell as Dante painted. Saint-Germain's high-degree masonry, his Templar and Rosicrucian connections, kept his enemies at bay until his arrest was called for by Morapa in 1778. He vanished in front of the arresting officers, and from that time claims of his immortality spread across Europe. He left a final message for his would-be captors. My hands are tied by someone who is stronger than I am. I have only a limited time to give to France. And when that time has passed, I shall be seen again after three generations. Alexandre Dumas. The identity of the man in the iron mask has remained one of the best kept secrets in history. King Philip of France kept the prisoner detained until his death, his identity hidden even from the jailers, locked behind a full face iron mask. Who was the man in the iron mask? 
Some say that the poor creature was the king's twin brother. Others that it was none other than the immortal Le Comte de Saint-Germain. Recently, it was claimed that the man in the iron mask guarded a secret. A treasure so great that it cost him his freedom and eventually his sanity. We shall never know who the prisoner really was and why his identity had to remain such a closely guarded secret. the truth. 